before we start moving around, we're going to do a little bit of standing just to get the foundation principles of the body alignment sorted out. First we start from the feet and we need to recognize where the weight is in our feet. If I am to lean forward, then I find that a lot of tension will creep up the toes, the front of the legs and the tummy. Similarly, if I lean backwards too much, I will have too much weight in the heels. So I'm trying to find the sweet spot right in the middle. That way the foot feels soft and comfortable and the muscles of the legs aren't constricted and tight, but open up and relax, which allows all the blood to flow. So just have a little go at this. Leaning forward, feel the tension. Leaning back, feel the tension. And then try and find the sweet spot right in the middle. Play with this for a little bit. You can find very, very comfortable foot posture. Similarly, the knees don't want to be uh, locked like this, but want to be slightly bent, not over bent, but just slightly bent so that you feel comfortable and a little bit springy in the legs. If you drop down a bit, you can feel springy and that allows the muscles to relax a little bit as well. The hips should be nice and level and your coccyx just drawn down slightly, not with your posterior sticking out and not tucked in too hard either, just halfway in between so that you feel comfortable in your center. The next is to make sure that the shoulders are very relaxed. We don't want to roll them forward like this. And even though we want to be upright, we don't want to be military style like this. So we just allow the shoulders to sit in the groove of your shoulder girdle. So now if you've got all these points, the feet, the knees, the hips, and the shoulders together, you can concentrate on being upright, very upright. You will notice if you're leaning back, you'll feel tense in your tummy just because your muscles are not aligned. So you have to come forward a bit. So just play with going either too far forward and it feels uncomfortable or too far backwards feels uncomfortable. And then right in the middle, everything begins to feel effortless. And the next thing in the Tai Chi classics, they say that the head should be suspended from above as if with a string. I find it's easier to imagine the string or the hook inside the head, not from the top, but actually inside, and think of it pulling up slightly. And that seems to give you a bit more perceptual leverage, if you like. So now you feel upright, everything relaxed and in line. And this is called a wuji stance. The Wuji stance is a stance of stillness and emptiness. And it's how we start our Tai Chi. If you would like a little bit more breathing exercise, you can raise the arms up to around about shoulder height into a nice round shape. When we lift the elbows outwards, it frees up the rib cage to allow the breathing to deepen. You can try this if you fold your arms and you breathe in. All the way and breathe out. And now you try opening the arms and take a breath in. You will see you have more capacity and a very easy breathing. When we stand like this, it starts to feel very nice, very relaxed, very open. There is no upper time limit, but you should start with maybe three or four minutes. Let the arms come down. 
and then raise the arms up again and you will feel it's a lot easier the next time. And you can gradually increase your time as the days go by. This is posture number one. This is posture number two. So this is the basics of the standing exercise. <laughs>